Well, hello there! It's me, your Star Wars dad. I uh, hope everybody's doing great out there. Dom, Eman, Sashin, Salacious, what is up? So I just, didn't I just look at your main account yesterday, Salacious? I'm confused. Or was that a different account yesterday? So, pick, uh, just confirm for me it's the other account. I don't want to keep looking at the same account over and over again, but, uh, yeah, guys, so type in your, uh, you can type in your rosters with uh, put an x between the the th every three numbers otherwise youtube doesn't like it so uh, i'll wait for salacious just to confirm that this is uh, an old water bottle i should have got some water for the stream i should have got some water we'll spend an hour hour and a half here reviewing some rosters take a look for you guys um tell you what i'm gonna have faith that this is a different roster than the one i reviewed yesterday for mr salacious b crumb or excuse me not mr lord lord Am I entered in this uh, H-A-A-T? Let's make sure. Yes, I'm good to go. All right. That was your alt account. Okay, so let's get in here and take a look at your main account. What are your goals, buddy? You don't even need my help. You're just showing off. You're just like, hey, look at my roster in front of lots of people and show it off. Hey, Immortal, how you doing? Let's see here. Seven, three, nine. Uh, three, three, seven. Nine seven eight, and as stated, make sure you uh, you put X's in between every three numbers. Ooh, you got an Omicron on on. on uh, let me take a look at that. Can I see it again? Yes. Let's see here. It's a it's so the Omicron is tenacity, crit damage, and protection. Whenever lights at alley start through at least two buffs, they gain five percent offense. Wow. Whenever Galactic Republic allies use a special ability during their turn, they stun the... T wow. Nobody's beating this team, are they? Nobody's beating... Hey, Sashin, cool. I got, you'll be up second here. Can, nobody can beat that, right? I mean, you're getting stunned and they're gaining offense. as a good lord. Forget that, dude. Forget that. Let's look at your roster. So, Sith Eternal Jedi Master... So what, what do you need help with here? What What is the... What's the question? I mean, what's the question? I'm sure you got executor too, right? There it is. I don't know what to tell you. Your roster is awesome. It's eight million. Um, yes, you're crushing it. You're amazing. Go get, go get Ray. Uh, do you have uh, Star Killer? Do you have Star Killer in here? I don't care about the Inquisitor. I really don't care about the Inquisitor at all. Uh, yeah. Let's see, yeah, not mess with those. Good call, good idea. What's Star Killer under? Is he is he a Sith? No, but you've got Talon. Um, I think I saw. Is he an unaligned Force user? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so you got Stark. What do you, what do you even need? What? You... Great roster, Salacious. I don't... Also, do you know a strategy for Datacrons? How you could be leveling them up? Check out my mods. Uh, you're working on Inquisitors and Omega. Yes, go get Ray. Don't bother with Inquisitors. Go get Ray. Ray will give you another. See, Inquisitors. The only thing they do is kill Jedi team. Uh, the only thing the Inquisitors do is kill Jedi teams, without Commander Ahsoka Tano on them. So that's just useless. So go get Ray. Drop the Inquisitors. Go get Ray. I'm sure your rep your uh, resistance are looking pretty darn good here. Yeah, man. Go get Ray. Don't bother with the Inquisitors. Get Ray. Get her. Get her. Uh, get her out there. Put her on defense. How are your Jawas? Yeah, no bother. You just put. You can put a. If you put Ray on defense, they got to deal with it, right? That's the thing. Inquisitors have one use, and you may not get the. Uh, I'm not a big fan. So let's see here. Um, a strategy for Datacrons. Not yet. I think we need to go through a few iterations of Datacrons. What I'm doing right now is I have one Datacron on both my accounts. And I'm leveling up as big as possible. I kind of wonder if maybe you should just save everything if you're free to play. If you want to pay for Datacrons, congrats. No thanks. Um, but I kind of wonder if free to play, you should just save all of your money all your credits, all your your um, all your materials and everything, and just do one every other grand arena. Maybe that's what I'm kind of wondering. I don't care. I don't care about territory wars. I mean, I guess 
if you have a data crown, you get to apply it to territory wars, but yeah, whatever. So let's check your mods, okay? Well, so um, I'll tell you right now, the way I saw the best... I used to be in Pimpo's ship shard, okay? So Pimpo, I've seen this... Uh, I probably shouldn't give this away, but I probably should be. But he had, uh, he had all... He had all uh, C modded for uh, health, modded for health across the board. Keep him alive as long as possible because when he gets to it, his ultimate is everything. When he does his ultimate, everybody dies, and it doesn't matter, you know, what's going on. They're just going to die unless they're a galactic legend. So just mod him for health. Um, you know, Luke should be modded for protection and speed, right? There you go, protection and speed. Yeah, well, you got some serious speed mods here, dude. I don't, I don't know if you need much help from me here, buddy. I need 29. That's a nice mod. Um, Lord Vader should be all about protection, right? This should be, no, it should be a protection arrow. Um, I See, now he converts all his protection to health. So you get more health out of protection than you are just doing the health ones. So they, they you lose all protection and gain that much max health. So I think... Defense might be okay. I think you should have a protection primary up here with some speed. That's what I think you should do there. So, I mean, I can spend all day looking at all these mods. I mean, your, your, your roster's baller. Your mods look pretty great. I mean, you got 146 speed here. I don't really see... I don't really see any problems here, buddy. You should... This should be a health character, right? Health. Offense. Health. I'm okay with that. I'd probably rather have a health triangle, so... Looking good, man, but I'd say definitely go for Ray. Just don't, Inquisitorious. I, I don't care about their characters in general. I don't care about them in the game. Um, they have one purpose. They're a pain in the butt. They're going to cost you money. Just drop it and go get Ray. Maybe down the road you get Inquisitorious when you're bored. Do them on the side as a side project, but I wouldn't focus on them at all. That's my advice there. Okay, what do we got? Hey, everybody, Broda has joined the stream. One of our three favorite mods, uh, Grandmaster Broda, has joined the stream. Where is his intro? So he gets an intro. Yay, Broda. Make sure to like and subscribe, everybody, or love and sub, as Princess Nooch is telling you there. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. All right. Sashin 632-817-743-817-743-981. Yeah, I think going forward after this Inquisitorious debacle where, you know, they advertise it as being able to beat uh, Jedi Master Kenobi, but then didn't until it's, you know, it's only without Cat, which nobody does. Nobody does. Um... I think we should not trust. I think we should not trust these new farms as they come out. I think we should give it a little more time unless you just really have a lot of disposable income and just want to throw money out there. Um, I am I'm. I don't think you should just go after these farms immediately when they come out. That's my opinion. All right. What we got here? So, Sashin, when you get a chance, I'm going to build up core teams debating between Padme, CLS, or Jedi Knight Revan next. Okay. So, let's take a look. So, you've got Vader, Thrawn... Um, I, I hope that you've got Merciless Massacre. Very good. Uh, so you're in good shape there. I think you should uh, level up Palpatine and get his, get his leader Zeta on there. That'll be a big deal for Vader. Should you go for Padme, CLS, or Jedi Knight Revan? Well, let's, let's take a look. Um, just dropping things. Let's take a look at your Galactic Republic. Okay. So you haven't farmed shock. No, that's for gas. Okay. Well, you got Padme at five stars. So here's your Separatists. So I think that if you seven star your Geobrood Alpha and Poggle, that team will be able to get you Padme. So I'm not sure why you wouldn't do that. I'm going to suggest, as I always do, uh, farm this Django Fode, Django Fode, Django Fett node every single day because you get the Hound's Tooth out of that. So you should be farming that every day. Hound's Tooth is super, super important, versatile. Uh, just, just, a, just, a just a beast out there. Bosk is really important too. So 
I think you should finish off your, your Geos and, and finish off Padme. That'd be my first thing. Now let's look at your older public. Um, yeah, you're a ways off here. You've got to get Basilishan, Jolie, Zalbar, Mission, and probably Karth to be the way to go. And I don't, you know, you're a ways off. So I, you're really close to Padme, seven stars. You're a ways off from having Jedi Knight Revan. What was the other option? CLS. So CLS is going to be uh, Stormtrooper Han, who you have at four stars. Princess Leia, who you have at three stars. R2 at five stars. Let me look at that in a second. Old Ben at six stars. Who did I say? Da, 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 da. And who's the fifth in there? Oh, Farm Boy. You're, so you're, clo you're, you're closer to Padme. So I would go. I would go finish off Padme. Now in the process there, let me go. Let me go back to your main roster. So you. So your Phoenix are all at seven stars. I'd love to see you. Let's see here. You should have R two at seven stars right now. There's no reason, unless you don't have a fifth Empire person to put in there. Oh. Get one of these Empire up. I would suggest. Um, Piet. Yeah, get another Empire up to five. Or maybe if you've got the extra shards for Snowtrooper, like just sitting there, you know, from 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 Bronziums, maybe get him to seven stars. Get an Empire to seven stars. Max out your R2. Get Padme done. And let's look at your Galactic Republic. Uh, level up Anakin. Level up Ahsoka. Uh, farm Anakin and Ahsoka. Grandmaster Yoda. Uh, where are you on Jedi? So you're pretty close. You should be able to get you should be able to get Yoda at Grandmaster Yoda at six stars right now because you have Mace Windu at six, Old Ben at six, Basila, Kane, and Ezra. Um, I think that's what you, I think that's what you need to work on here. So from your roster, finish off Padme, then get the Padme. Do you got GK in here? Do you not have GK? Are you in a heroic guild? Are you in a heroic guild? I, that's a concern. You should be in a guild. I thought I saw Han. Yeah, there's Han. Um, you need to be in a guild that's doing heroic raids. If they're not, I you know maybe they're your buddies and you're sticking around. But I, if they're not, you need to find another guild. That's my honest advice there. You need to be in a guild that's doing all three heroic raids. Heroic Pit, heroic H A A T, heroic Treya, heroic you know Sith whatever. Um, so let's go over the steps here. Finish off your Geos, finish off, then finish off Padme. In the process, level up Palpatine, get his leadership Zeta on there. Um, get a Fifth Empire, which I would recommend Piet, although Dark Trooper is closer. So depending on who's closer, or maybe you have Snow Trooper, get a Fifth Empire and go finish off R2. You need to work on your, your Jedi a little bit. Let me get in here. It's Galactic Republic. Um... A really good Padme team is going to be Padme, Jedi, Anakin, Ahsoka, uh, General Kenobi, and then a fifth, which could be Yoda, could be Barris, could be R2. That'd be a really good Padme team there to have. So those, that's my advice right off the bat. That'll keep you busy for a couple months. You can come back and let me know where you are, and we'll take a look at this. So hopefully that helps you, Sashin. Hope it gives you some good advice. You're close to GK. Good, 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 good. GOTB Guild. Great. That's awesome. That's where you should be. That's where you should be. Okay, Immortal Tyranny, three, two, four. Three, two, four. Three, seven, 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 one, seven. Immortal Tyranny, I'm working at SLKR. Your mods are terrible because you're remodding. Okay, all right, I got it. Little Wolverine PFP, I like that. I like that. So you're working toward SLK, are you mods are terrible because you're so I won't I won't rip up your mod. You're saying you're saying what you're saying is don't make fun of my mods. I'm working on it. I won't. I'll, I'll stay out of it. You know I like to look at mods and it's it's so important to the game. Let's let's look anyway. Let's let's be a jerk. Those look pretty good. I thought it looks pretty darn good. That's a lot of Thrawn's be you know, it was gosh, Thrawn was in the metas or a very important character for four or five years. And he finally faded here in the last year or so. He was just, he just, he would find his way into so many rosters. He can still be useful on offense, just the AI targets him. Or anyway, sorry, I got a little off on a little tangent there. Um, 
see your Vader mods. Yeah, I mean, your mod, that, that's the mod you want. Looks pretty good to me. 132 speed, some criti extra critical damage. I mean, you know, what, what's wrong with your mods? Okay, you're working toward SLKR. So let's look at that first order. First, let me look at your scoundrels. Um, don't neglect veteran smuggler Han. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. He's at the very top. Because I didn't look at the top. I'm, okay, you're good there. Pay attention, Nooch. Nooch too dumb. Hang on. That deserves a Nooch too dumb. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. Um, what was I looking at? What was that? First order. <laughs> I forget. I'm so dumb. I'm not even. Looking. Okay, so looking pretty good. Uh, you got to get. You got to get both Kylos up to Relic Seven. First order, Tie Pilot Three, Executioner's Three, also I believe. I mean, you're in really good shape here. How are your ships though? That's always the key. The ships will leave you hanging if you don't. So you got Darth Vader up. You got Tie Silencer up. First order, Tie Fighters ready to go. Slave One's ready to go. Um, where's Cad Bane? Cad Bane's, oh, you got a lot of work on Cad Bane. Is Houndstooth in there, too? I don't think Houndstooth is in there. Cad Bane needs a lot of work. You kind of missed out there. Let me look here. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Whoa, this is too much. Too much. Finalizer is going to be, that's not what I want. I want the finalizer farm. Where is this thing? Come on, man. Okay. So first door TIE Fighter, Houndstooth. So you're definitely behind on Houndstooth and Xandu Blood. So you need to get moving on those. Farm those every day, and I would suggest if you want to get to them quicker, maybe refresh those nodes because you got your other characters ready to go, but you need Xanadu blood. I would probably refresh Xanadu blood and Houndstooth nodes every day and get those things farmed up because you're and you got to get Sith Trooper too. But you know, the ships are the one thing that are really catch off guard for uh, for Kylo. It gets really challenging. So, hey, Bimgus, what's up? SLKR and next executor. There you go. All right, Eduardo. So that's what I would say. Work on, make sure you get your ships. I, I, I've talked about it a lot. I've got videos out there. The finalizer problem, how finalizer will sneak up on you and get you. So yeah, I get to work on those ships and probably refresh those nodes every day to get in there. So hey, Gav P, good to see you. I'm glad you're here live. Sorry, I'm missing stuff. Starkiller is oof, is a oofu. Okay, all right. Nooch too old. Nooch too old, I'm gonna say it first. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you are not, hmm? Uh, guys, what is Ufu? I don't know what Ufu is. UFU, Ufu. Unforgettable, unforgettable, you. Alright, Starkiller is Unaligned Force, thank you. Unaligned Force user, thank you. Oh, Unaligned Force user, Ufu. I thought it was... <laughs> I thought Ufu was some new acronym I didn't know about. Hey, the knight, I see you, buddy. Um, did you put your uh, Did you put your number in there? We'll get to you next here because you were on yesterday looking for a roster review and I wasn't able to get to it. So put your number in there, and I will get to you next, buddy. There it is, the knight. So we'll get to the knight, and then I'll have um, looks like Belgium, right? Is that what it? Baby Belgium, the knight, then Baby Belgium, then Mr. Golden Bomb, and then we'll keep going. So the knight. Let's see here. I'm glad you're on. Uh, willkommen, ich, ich, uh, ich bin glück, ja? Glück? Ich bin gleich? I'm happy. I don't know. Uh, 275. 575. Through? 434. Search. All right, let's get the Knights roster here. Wait a minute, who is killed killed by Rengar playing some Le uh, League of Legends there, huh? Now who wouldn't who wouldn't be killed by Rengar? If Rengar sits in, in League of Legends, if Rengar sits in the bushes and you don't know he's there, he's gonna kill you. Just FYI. 
one of these days, I've, I've been planning on this, I really wish Star Wars had a MOBA, a, uh, like, like League, Le League of Legends, a multiplayer online something something MOBA, where you get on as a team, you could have like Han Solo, Chewbacca, whatever, uh, Broda, are you on, I don't, oh, I, you, oh, I just gotta depend on you, you're, you're my friends, Let's, I'll do you next, Broda. So, I really wish Star Wars had a MOBA, like League of Legends, that'd be awesome. Okay. Let's take a look here. So what are you doing here tonight? What's, what are your goals? What are your goals tonight? Um, catch the stream. Yeah, tell me what your goals are. By the way, it's not catched, it's caught. It's weird. Looks like you're going, looks like you're going for speeding the Kylo, right? I'm assuming that's how you even found me with my videos, so... You're in really good shape here. Uh, Kylo, Kylo, Palp, Phasma, Vader, no, not Vader, but Vader's always good to have. Uh, I really like your farm. You're getting there. You're on the border. Let's take a look at it again at ships. Ships is where it's at. Tie Silencer, Kylo Ren Command Shuttle. I didn't even look at that. Did you have Kylo Ren Command Shuttle, Immortal? I might have missed that. Make sure you're getting that. One more star to go. Tie Advance, one more star to go. First order, Tie Fighter, Slave One. Slave One in there. Hounds Tooth, Zandu Blood. So you're on, you're on the right path. So keep pushing. Looks like you're pretty close to getting Finalizer. Um, good, good, good. That's good stuff. The challenge really is that the Finalizer, you got to get there as quick as possible because it only comes around once a month and, and it just takes time to farm. So, yes, SLKR. Then Gas. Let's take a look at your Gas roster here. Now, obviously, let me say this. If you're farming SLKR, your next goal is Gas. You should be doing all the gear on the SLKR stuff and farming the ships while just farming um, while farming shards just for the gas characters. So let's go take a look at your, your Galactic Republic. Um, I got Shakti at two stars. No Padme yet. Ahsoka at six stars. I don't see General Kenobi. I, don't, I hope you're in a heroic guild because you need General Kenobi. So you got some work for gas. Um, yeah, you got some work for gas. Separatists, you should go unlock Padme at six stars right now with those top five. Dooku, Jango Fed, Grievous, Asajj, Newt Gunray. You can unlock. You can unlock Padme with that roster right now at six stars. It might take you a little RNG, but go get her at six stars. Get those guys seven starred out. You're gonna need uh, Magna Guard. Droidica, Super Battle Droid, and Battle Droid. So you got some work for gas. So I would be, you got the finalizer at five stars. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so you're good with finalizer. So the final, okay, all right, so you're good with finalizer. So yeah, I, if you're going to do gas next, keep working on, keep working on your gear for Kylo. Work on the stars for all these guys. Uh, and go get go get Padme. You can get Padme today. You can unlock her. It'll give you some extra crystals, some extra gear, some good stuff to work with as you get toward Kylo and then start working on this. I would highly recommend with your roster, you got enough Jedi, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn's Omicron for Grand Arena. Even at even at those low, you get him at gear 8. Even at gear 8, if you put the Omicron on him, uh, he's going to be super effective in there as a leader in Grand Arena. So I, I, I would suggest doing that. So those are my suggestions. Now we're going to take a look at Grandmaster Baroda. Hope that helps you out, Knight. It looks like you said you were all the Sith. So where are my allies here? Is your name Broda in game? I don't remember your name in game. Okay, you're not in a guild. If you're not in a guild, you get cleared out of my... That tells me you're not playing. Broda, I don't know if I have you on this account, buddy. Diego's not playing? I missed that. Broda, I don't have you on this account. I can look you over here, I guess. All right, we're looking up Broda, one of our three favorite mods. Then we'll do Baby Belgium. And Baby Belgium... We got Mr. Gold, Mr. Golden Bomb. That sounds like a, a James Bond villain. Hey guys, if you're watching and you haven't liked the video and subscribed yet, please do both. Please do both. 
Membership is also open. We've got it down to a the lowest level is $1.99 a month just to support the channel. Keep going what we're doing here. Let me look at my allies on my on my other account. See if Broda's in here. And Broda, 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 Broda. The Grandmaster. Okay, there we go. So we are looking for 494. One two four. Four seven eight. Broda number six in arena push. Oh look at that! Look at that crappy Omicron. I mean crit damage. <laughs> Sorry, it's a level two Omicron. I was just saying. All right, so let's look at Broda's roster. He's one year and two months in the game. He went for Supreme near Kylo Ren. I inspire. I, I feel good that I inspired Broda's roster. You know, he he had not played for. We had both kind of quit the game. And I got back into it and decided to open a free-to-play account and go after Spring Meter Kylo Ren because I thought it'd be fun. Actually, that was how we started making content on Galaxy of Heroes again. It was a lot of fun. Then Broda jumped in and did the same thing, and here we are. Um, so what are you trying to do now, buddy? Uh, let's see. Do me next. Get good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One year and two months. He just wants to show off his roster. So all Broda wants to do is show off his roster and show you how cool he is. So you got Bosk at uh, no relic. I would get some relic levels on Bosk. He he's much, much... I mean, if you can get Bosk... I've got him at relic seven on my account. And I think he's going to cost me... I need to start putting him on defense because he's problematic for a lot of people. So, um, in fact, I might... I should probably do that today before. So you got your first order type pilot, Omicron, your Qui-Gon Jinn, Omicron, your Phasma, Omicron for Territory War. Uh, you got what other Omicrons? Those are the Omicrons you got. What are you working on now, buddy? Are you working on gas? You got Jedi Knight Revan. Um, you got Darth Revan. So you're gearing them up, I'm sure. So Broda, by the way, guys, is the master of minimum teams. He will take a minimum team. Like, look at his Ewoks. That's a gear eight chirpa, gear eight. They're all gear eight, and yet, do you have three PO? Uh, there's no way you have three PO, right? You have six star three PO, not seven star. So he loves to go in there with minimum teams and do damage and, and get stuff going there. Jedi Master Kenobi is your next goal. Wow! So let's take a look here. So you've got Isla Secura there working on her. Um, we got to get gas, right? No. What am I thinking? I'm going to get Jedi Master Kenobi up here. I, it's, I'm not, my farm isn't clear. Let's see here. Kenobi! Okay, Jedi Master Kenobi. Where's the event? This is the character. I need the event. What must be done? I will do what must be done. I will do everything short of killing you, Anakin. Twice. Okay. Can General Kenobi to Relic 8, you've got that. Uh, Yoda to Relic 8, you've got that. Bo-Katan to Relic 5. Bo-Katan. She'll be here. She won't be here. Isla Secure to Relic 3, you're working on that. Mace Windu to 3, you got him done. Uh, da -da -da, who else is going to be in here? Clone Sergeant to Relic 5, what a waste. Got him done. Qui-Gon to Relic 3, yes sir. Shock T to Relic 7, working on it. Cody to Relic 5, working on it. Now let's go to our Separatists. Up, up, up. Let's see here. Grievous to 7, done. Watt to 7, done. Magna Guard at 5, done. Um, Django Fett to 7, done. Cadman, not a Separatist. Look at our bounty hunters. Bounty hunters. We don't need this scum. Yes, sir. Done. Who do we got left? Uh, Bo Katan. Bo Katan. Not there. Not there. And I think that's it. Negotiators, all we got left? I mean, you're close, dude. You're close. I'm sure you got negotiator. I, you've shown off your negotiator for a long time now. You're good there. Looking good, buddy. I'd say you're only a couple months away from starting the farm. That's awesome. That's pretty hot. 
That's pretty hot. I give you a lot of credit for that. On my account that I started several months before you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've got Kylo Revens gas, and I'm working, I'm working on just, I'm working on Malik and getting those guys. I'll, I'll put out an update, uh, maybe, maybe by morning on that. So there you go. Nice roster, Broda. Good job as always. You're amazing. Seven star wicket. Oh, I didn't see that. You had a six star wicket. Then you get three PO. Okay, yeah, you'll need three PO. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, baby Belgium. Baby Belgium. Five three five three nine four one five. Now there's the there's the, isn't there the baby statue in Belgium where he's peeing and everybody gets water from it? Isn't there's that? Am I am I mixing up like? The Netherlands and Belgium. I can't. I can't keep Brussels, Belgium, the Netherlands, Amsterdam. I can't keep it straight. Sorry. I apologize if I'm being offensive. But there's the in Amsterdam. I think it is. There's the baby that pees and everybody gets water out of it. And they've been getting water out of it for like a thousand years or something like that. Something crazy like that. So, dusk. Um, I, I'm doing everybody in order here. So if you got your stuff up toward the top, I'm gonna get there. But I'm just, I'm just going in order. I'm just going in order. So make sure to put an X in between your numbers. All right, baby Belgium. Just did a little catching up on some core teams while slowly prepping for Master Kenobi. Let's take a look. Master Kenobi's popular. I mean, you know the ch the biggest challenge of Master Kenobi for like free to play players or people that weren't playing Conquest or couldn't max out Conquest when Cat was up. Um, hang on one second. I need to need to pop off here and that's not what I wanted. All right, sorry, I need to take care of some business. Okay, so the biggest challenge of Met with Jedi Master Kenobi for those who couldn't max out Conquest when Commander Ahsoka was available is that you don't have Commander Ahsoka, and it's going to be a real struggle to get her over a long period of time. And I think that's. Unfortunate. Now you're at four million, so I think you can play that new game mode that I have not been able to play. I can't even remember what it's called because I don't even have access to it. So I think you get shards in there, but regardless. Okay, let's take a look at your Jedi Master Kenobi farming. We'll start at the same place. I will do what must be done. General Kenobi Relic 8, he's at Relic 4. Shock T or let's see here. Isla Secura. Uh, Isla Secura. Uh, uh, I don't see Isla Secura, buddy. I think you're behind there by a lot. Am I missing her? Yeah, I don't even see her activated, so you better get to work on Isla Secura for sure. Mace Windu to th Relic 3. Mace Windu. Master Windu, there he is, okay. Working on it. Um, but, but clone sergeant at relic five. <laughs> Starting to work on. It. It looks like he's only gear four or five or something. Uh, Qui Gon relic three. Working on him, guys. Omicron. Yoda relic eight. You're done with him. Finished. What's up? Okay. He's measuring stuff. Um. Let's see here. Shakti Relic 7, she's at 5. Cad Cody, where's Cody? Ooh, just started. So you got some work to do in your Galactic Republic for sure. Let's take a look at those Separatists. That's where most of the other ones lie. Grievous is getting there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not what I meant to do. Um, Watt. You got him 7 stars. That's important. You got to get to work on him. Magna Guard also got to get to work. Uh, Django Fett. Where's Django? So you definitely have some work to do here. Definitely have some work to do. There's Cad Bane. And who's there? Okay, uh, a Mandalorian. We're talking about Bo-Katan. Yeah, so you've got a lot of work to do to get to Jedi Master Kenobi. I'm going to assume your negotiator is good to go. There it is. Um, so yeah, get, definitely get to working. Get... get Get moving there, baby Belgium. You got some work to do, but that's good stuff. I can see that you're you're definitely you're definitely working on it. Um, I wonder though, do you have you got so you have gas? You have Janet Revan. Do you have Darth Revan? You have we well, have Malik. So you have Darth Revan. I would relic that Bosk 
by the way. If I was looking at this roster, I would get you have the you have Zam's Omicron. I would get Bosk Relic. Uh, I think that's worth the spend with the rest of these guys in here. She's gonna make everybody so much better. So, yeah, there you go, baby Belgium. Now when I dated Kenobi, Data Cron, kind of free to be. Go for it, Salacious. C wants all health mods. Mod C for health. Yep, I think you should mod C for health too. Mentioned that earlier. Uh, dropping it. Yeah, get rid of it. Inquisitors are so awesome. So, I mean, so horrible. Sorry. Gav P, go for race. Slow the farmer's show. I, I love Gav P's in there giving advice. Hopefully you're still around. And I, guys, I kind of lag on my chat while I'm here doing roster reviews because it's hard to look. It's hard to do. Focus on what the roster is. Keep an eye on where chat is now. Keep an eye on where I am as far as... I keep my order here for roster reviews. Over here, the chat is at the bottom where it is right now. And here is where I... Yeah, anyway. Okay, Mr. Golden Bomb, unlocked executor, need new goals, core teams, or C? It's probably C. You're very new. Okay. Mr. Golden Bomb. Mr. Golden Bomb. Bow, wow, wow. Man with the Midas touch. Well, it looks like you've already got executor. Oh, no, you went for executor. Should you go for C now? Okay. Um, you got Genetic Revan. Do you have Darth Revan? No. Got the characters, and you just need to gear them up for Darth Revan. Okay, um, that might be a really good path for you over C, but let's take a look. The C farm, let me pull it up here. Where is it? What's that event called? Let me take a look here. I won't be able to look while I'm in your roster. Um, the final order. Okay. So, in your... So, I'm, I'm going to look at a couple things here. Do you have gas? You don't have gas either. Okay. So, a couple of notes. Gas and Darth Revan and Malak are really, really important in the game, right? Like, Sith Eternal is, is nice, mostly on offense. If you play anybody who's got Kylo Ren and you're at 2.9 GP, you're gonna play a lot of other people with Galactic Legends. Anybody with Kylo Ren can wipe out Sith Eternal on defense in a blink. Let, let me let me let me keep looking here. Let's look. So you would, to go for Sith Eternal, you would need you've got Palpatine done, you've got Vader done, you've got Piet done. Um, Krennic is three stars. Rail Guard is seven stars. Darth Sidious is not here. Marauder, Dooku, Maul. Um, Thrawn needs to be relic. Tarkin needs to be relic. Stark and Veers need to be relic. And Stark is Veers is six stars. So I think I'm gonna change your direction. That's you can do what you want, but yeah, you don't have. I don't see Darth Sidious on here. Um, Sith Marauder is three stars. Darth Maul, four stars. So what I think you should do is start gearing up your Sith Empire and Old Republic and go get Darth Revan. Just work on the gear. You've already got the... So well, here's what you should do. If you want Sith Eternal, farm the character shards on the side, but work on the gear for getting Darth Revan. Okay? Work on your gear for getting Darth Revan. And then when you're done with that, you keep farming... Keep farming the Sith Eternal shards for the characters you need, like 
Like, uh, you need Darth Maul, you need Sith Marauder up, you need um, Darth Sidious, um, I need Jenna Atkins, or you need, um, you need a bunch of characters. When you're doing that, then you, you can gear up for, do you have Shock T? <sighs> no Shock T, no 3PO, um, no Ewoks. Do Darth Revan and Malak, and then while you're doing those guys, you're farming the shards for Sith Eternal Emperor, then do Sith Eternal. It's not going to cost you that much time. Because you already because you have to farm the shards for those characters for Sith Eternal, you might as well go farm those shards while you do the gear and get Darth Revan activated. So you get Darth Revan active, you got another great team on there. While you're doing that, you're farming, and, and Darth Malak, then he's a team by himself, and I, I love using him as a solo offensive character. Then you keep your um, you keep while you're doing while you, while you're doing that you're getting Darth Revan and Malak. You're farming the shards to get ready for Sith Eternal. Then once you got them activated, you finish off relicking Darth Revan and Darth Jedi Revan teams, and you then you go after Sith Eternal. I mean, you always Sith Eternal go get gas. That's my those are my that's my two cents. That's what I think you should do. That's what I think you should do there, uh, Mr. Goldenbaum. Okay, let's see. The night we did, Patrick, we just, we did, uh, Patrick, we, your ally code, we did yours, I thought we did yours yesterday. Did we not do yours yesterday? Okay, we'll go take a look at it. Maybe we were just talking yesterday. Or is it two days ago? I don't even remember. Six, nine, two, seven, one, four, five, one, five. Search. Patrick? So you're going for... Jedi Knight Revan and Padme. I don't know who Padima is. <laughs> Jedi Knight Revan and Padme. Okay. Well, you got you got a classic, you know, starter roster here at level 55. My biggest piece of advice is going to be stop leveling up these other. Stop leveling up Ray. Stop leveling Pad like new new characters when they drop. Don't level them up. Don't spend money on Admiral Radis. Don't spend credits on them. Don't spend credits on other stuff. If you're going for Padme Janet Revan, don't bother with your, your Phoenix. Don't spend any more credits on them. Um, if you're going to get Padme... Um, you're going to need a lot more Separatists than this. Than this. So you, I, if I was going to go for Padme with this roster... I'd be looking. I'd be looking at getting my bugs up, right? So you can't farm Geo Brood Alpha till 82 or 83. Um, I would. I would I'd get the rest of the bugs activated. Use them for fleets. What are you using for ships right now? Nothing. Okay. Look, I think you you might have just unlocked ships at level 55 or so. So, yeah, get your get your Geos going. Unlock your ships. Get them all seven star Geo Brood Alpha. Once he's up, you start farming him. Then you use that to go get Padme, and in the meantime, start farming your older public. You got Bastila there. Get her start up. She's a great character for your roster, an early an early roster. She's really great in, in uh, Galactic War until you get to level eighty five. You're probably still two to three months, two plus months away. Yeah, you're probably about two months away from free Galactic Wars every day. So she's a great lead to have on your team to do Galactic War with. So get her start up. Obviously farm Basila every single day as much as you can to put in there with your other Jedi. Um, and you need to get on those older publics. So they're available in those fleet shards, right? I think that, like, I think Zalbar is available in fleet and regular. But I'm trying to think. Karth, is he, Karth is for Darth Revan. You need Jolie. Who am I thinking of here? Let me, I'm going to look over my other account real quick. So for Jedi Knight Revan, who I've got over here, you need Bastila, who you can get all over the place. So farm her every day, get up to seven stars. You need Jolie, who is available. Where is he? Okay, he's in 6D hard, so you need to get to there. 
You need, uh, why does it do that? Why can't I, if I'm in the, anyway, never mind. Uh, mission is going to be Cantina Energy, right? Yep, Cantina Energy. And where was she? Seven Ace. You probably don't have that unlocked yet. Zalbar is going to be, oh, just regular energy, 5D light side. And then, what I'm, what I'm complaining about is I've, I, I've got here, see I've got the, the journey guide open for Janet Revan, and when I open a character, so let's open Basila, and then if I want to just flip through, let me see if I can get it. See, it goes through my regular roster. Why, why if I have the journey guide open, why wouldn't it just go through the journey guide? I, don't, I have no interest. There's nobody on this planet that would want to flip through. If I'm looking at the Genetic Revan guide, I don't want to flip through anybody but these characters, right? These are the characters I want to flip through. Anyway, just complaining a little bit there. And you need T3M4. And I think he is also Cantina Energy, right? Yeah. So... You don't really need ship nodes to get Genet Revan. It's a pretty easy farm, so just start farming. But I would say get your geos up. The reason I say geos is because geos are useful in a lot of places. They're useful for your guild in in dark side territory battles. Um, they are they're useful in early grand arenas for the first few months. Actually, they're useful all along the way. I I you saw my video. I disagree with AP gains. I think you can, you can, I, I know he says, after he rips on the Geos for like, you know, 30 minutes, he'll say, yeah, you should get Geo Brute Alpha um, and, and Spy Relic, but nobody else. Okay, I get it. But you should get those guys Relic and get them up because they're, you can use them on offense. Even if you don't use them on, on defense and later grinders, you can use them on offense still. So, hey, everybody, make sure to like and subscribe. Just a reminder out there. Let me throw up, let me throw up, uh, how about, uh, how about Green Nooch here? Where's Green Nooch? Green left thumb spin. Woo! Like and subscribe. I got 33 people on and only 17 likes. There's something wrong with this picture. One of these things is not like the other. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that helps you out, uh, Patrick. And I'm, I'm excited. I love seeing new players on here playing free to play. That's cool. Hopefully this really helps you out as far as farming. Okay, Patrick. Let's see here. So Sheen killed by Rengar. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I really do wish, I really do wish Star Wars had a MOBA out there. I can just see, like, I mean, there's so many characters. There's, I mean, look at this game. All these characters could be out there in a MOBA. I'm going to do that video. I'm going to do that video. I'm going to maybe, uh, I'll review that game, uh, League of Legends Wild Rift. I'm going to start doing game reviews for you guys. And, um, yeah, anyway, anyway. All right, let's see here. We're killed by Rengar. Three, two, one. Four, six, eight. One, six, seven. All right, what do you say? Going for gas, now have a nice stream. So this is what I did. This is what I did. Crit damage, very nice. That worked out really well for you. Um, I unlocked Kylo in nine months, ten months with the ultimate. And then I went for gas. Actually, you did it reverse. You went for Revan and, and you went for Revan's and Malak first. Now you're going for gas. So let's take a look at your progress here. I would get that boss relic up. I really would. Maybe I need to do like a top five non-journey type characters list for the game because there are all sorts of characters that free to play care people can use, and I don't see them relic. I don't see them geared up enough. Hey, 27 likes. Thanks everybody. Thanks for popping those on there. Thanks for throwing those on there. All right, so let's see here. Um, Okay, so you're going for gas. General Kenobi looking good. Padme looking good. Ahsoka, yes. Um, Shakti working on. 3PO, very nice. Very nice working on him. That's your light side stuff as far as I can remember. Then your Separatist. I mean, it looks like you're really... You're very close in your, in your Galactic Republic. Got some work to do here. Oh, excuse me. So you need... Magna Guard, Super Battle Droid, Asajj, Droidica. So you got all your shards. No, you, you need you need uh, one more star on B on the Super Battle Droid. So you got your Galactic Republic, good to go. They're ready to go. Now you just you need to get to where I mean you need Shock T and 3PO geared up. So you got some work to do. You probably if you're free to play, you got about three months of work here as far as gearing these guys. If you're willing to pay for it, you can do it. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, just one. Wow. Woof! 
That's quite the sneeze. So, um, you're looking good. Oh, wait a minute, everybody! Jorge, who is our Masters level member, has joined the stream. He gets his own custom introduction. Jorge! 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 Welcome to the stream, buddy. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad you're here, buddy. Terra Beast, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so kill by Rengar. There you go. You're looking good. You just need to get a little. Let me take a look at the rest of your roster. If I got any other suggestions here, like something you can do on the side while you're gearing those guys up, because you've only got one. The only shards you need are, are B2 Battle Droid. So what can you work on the side while you're gearing those guys up? <laughs> I want to see something here. No? You got Chupio seven stars. You did that. You, this rod, this is a nicely this is a nicely put together roster. Well controlled. You're doing your job. You got these guys relic. This is looking really good. I really like this roster. Do you have uh do you have Qui-Gon Omicron? Do you have Qui-Gon? I'm gonna look at your Jedi here. So, I don't see Qui-Gon. That's disappointing. I really feel like you you would benefit a lot from the Qui-Gon Omicron. I know you can put these guys out there with Padme, but Qui-Gon's Omicron would be something really nice for your roster to have. Hey, Kanji! Oh, Kanji Club! <laughs> Tell that to Kanji Club! First time in the stream, we're doing great! Good Zoom type, thank you. Uh, I would work on... Where are your Omicrons? Where are you putting them? Where are your Omicron? Okay, first order TIE Pilot. If you got the Kylo, you should have that for sure. Surely you have more Omicron materials. I would... Uh, let me look at your Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters. No Zam. I mean, you might almost be in a position where you put the Omicron on Phasma... Just for TW, if you've got a bunch of materials. But I would definitely think that Qui-Gon or Zam would look really nice on your roster to help those guys out. So there you go. That's my assessment there, killed by Rengar. Bim, guess we said hello. Eduardo. Eduardo, I think you want me to review your roster, but I don't see your number, dude. If you're still here, I don't see your number. You need to put it with X's in between every three numbers, because otherwise... YouTube likes to, to cancel it. So, Eduardo, if you throw that on there, I'll try to keep a lookout and I'll get the. But I don't. I see where you said. Um, where'd you say? I'm getting lost here. You said going for SLKR our next executor, but I don't see. I don't see. I didn't. No, I didn't review it. I don't, I don't see your numbers, buddy. Uh, yes, Bimgus is here. Yes. The night we did. Immortal. Yep, yep. Yes, I'll care than gas when you're two months. Lord Nooch! <laughs> well, see, the thing is, Darth Dothraki. I like that too. That's a really good name. Um, Dothraki. So, hey, Eduardo, put your number in, buddy. I can't see your number. Put X's in between every three numbers. So, three numbers X, three numbers X, three numbers X. Um, Dothraki. Lord Nooch. So, Lord and Nooch, I think, is kind of the same thing. So, Nooch comes from. Um, hang on a second here. So I'm gonna pull in. I'm gonna pull in a meme I've got here, and we'll talk about where Nooch comes from because you, you call me Lord Nooch, and I think it's the same word. And I'll show you why. So Lord and Nooch. Here we go. So here's an old, here's an old subscribe thing I had on here. Nooch. Subscribe. Nooch Vader. Nooch Vader. Nooch Vader. Nooch Vader. Nooch Vader. Vader. Okay. So, the, the name Nooch comes from Return of the Jedi. And when 3PO's talking, earlier in the story he said Darth Vader, but later in the story he says Nooch Vader. So I think that the word Nooch in Ewokese means Lord. So when you call me Lord Nooch, you're actually, I think you're saying Lord twice. 
That's how I've always interpreted that, because early in the story he says Darth Vader, and later in the story he says Nooch Vader. So that's so. What happened was my buddy and I we were we used to watch these movies religiously throughout the 80s. We grew up and we grew up. Here I am. I'm old. So we called each other Nooch. He would call me Nooch. I call him Nooch Cosmo. He called me Nooch. We still call each other Nooch to this day. My brother calls me Nooch, and it is from Return of the Jedi. And so when you call me Lord Nooch, I believe you're being, you're putting Lord in there twice. Once in English and once in Ewok. And and so just, you don't really need to call Lord Nooch. You either say Lord or Nooch. <laughs> Whatever. I'm getting really picky about it. But it gave me a chance to tell my origin story. And I'll probably even throw that out there as a short for everybody. So there you go. Okay, so Eduardo. Okay, so what I'm going to do, Eduardo, I'm going to review Darth Rocky's roster here. Um, and then we'll do yours, Eduardo, because you had put a comment earlier and we just couldn't see it. So let's do Darth Rocky. Did I get Darth Rocky? No. 884. 776. 838. Okay. Um, plain data crime. Uh, working at SLKR, Executor JMK in that order. Also, your Night Sisters for SLKR, Night Sister Cheese. Ooh, I like that. Are there any gaps in the roster that need more love, faction wise, or for Grand Arena? I like that Padme team. That's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Okay. Modding Window Slice. So, Eduardo, for that, I'm going to recommend you look at, you watch my Modding 101 video. I have a video out there called Modding 101. If you look up, uh, just look up Star Wars Dad Modding 101 or G. Steven Star Wars Dad Modding, you'll or Mods 101, you'll find it. You'll it'll be out there. You'll be able to find it and look up that as far as slicing mods and all that stuff. So that would be my best advice there. I got a lot of, I think, really solid advice in that one. One of the big ones is don't ever upgrade an arrow uh, if it's not if it's a speed arrow. Don't upgrade it if it's not a speed primary. You can upgrade health, health, or health protection, um, health, crit avoidance. Other than that, there's not a lot of other arrows you're going to upgrade. You're going to sell most of them. But go watch that video. It should help you. Okay, going for SLKR, Executor, Jam, Jedi Master, Kenobi. So SLKR. I mean, that's done. That's done. How are your ships? TIE Silencer, TIE Advanced, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Well, you should have a... You should... Are you already farming? You should already be... Wait a minute. Did I see Ked Bane? I never remember his ship's name. Xandu Blood. You... So you should already have Finalizer, I'm guessing. And you... I, I hope you're already getting tickets, right? Are you already getting tickets? In my channel, you got the best farming guide. Thanks, Jose. I appreciate that. Jose Angel Torres Ramirez. My best, my best attempt there. Thanks for the, thanks for the uh, compliment there. Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Luke. Yeah, that that could be done, but I would imagine Kanja Club that it's not 100. percent Anyway, um, so you should already have this, Darth Rocky. I think you're already on your way to. You're probably farming tickets right now. Then you were looking for. Executor and Jedi Master Kenobi was that in that order. So let's look at Executor. Yeah, you gotta get those seven stars, and you are missing. Um, you're missing Mando ship. I. Why can I never remember? Ma For some reason, Mando ship does not stick in my brain. The Razor Crest. I didn't. I didn't find. It. I just remembered it. Good lord. So you're gonna need. You're gonna need Razor Crest there. And do you have? Bando? So I don't see Beskar Mando, do I? Caradoon 5 stars. No, you don't have them. So Caradoon 5 stars. Uh, you got a lot of... You got some work to do. I would get to work on your Beskar Mando farm here. Is what I If I, if I was you, so you're probably already farming tickets. You're, you're looking for Executor. You need to get the Razor Crest. You're gonna have to start buying those, or getting them, in, you know, buying them in the Conquest Shop, or buying them with, with, uh, not yet ship six star. Can't you do it when your ships are six star? I, okay, I, you know what? 
Somebody earlier told me they had finalizer, but they didn't have all the ships. And did they buy it? I'm getting confused here. I always thought it was seven stars too, but then somebody's telling all right, so you're working on the ships. You gotta get gotta get Cad Bane up. As far as executor, you gotta get you gotta get your best Garmando farm really going. Um I could have looked in scoundrels, but Yeah, you got some work to do here. Boba Fett needs to be relic eight. Um, IG-88, too, you're working on him, looks like. And then where's Piet? So, what I'm going to suggest is, as you're working toward that, uh, get your... So, you're almost... You don't need to do any more gearing for, for Kylo. So, get these guys geared up. Uh, Veers, Stark, Piet, Dark Trooper, Gideon. That's your main team. Your main Imperial Troopers team. They're a ball. Ooh, nice Omicron on Iden. That's probably a good team out there. I'm hoping that's... Hoping you throw out Iden, Versio, Magma Trooper, Range Trooper, Storm Trooper, and maybe Death Trooper on defense. That's a real... Or maybe even Storm Trooper. I like him there. So you got a good little defense team there with Iden. I would work on your other Imperial Troopers since you're going to be working on Executor. Um, they would be a big help there. Let me look at the rest here. You can buy 10 final iron. Okay, so, okay, yes, you can buy the shards. So, so that person probably bought the shards. Thank you. That was, I knew I was mixed up there. I'm not perfect. Sometimes Newt's too dumb. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to look at a couple teams here. You're asking for any other advice. You're in great shape here. Um, obviously, 3PO could use a relic, but you're in great shape here. Um... That's good. Those are the three ones you need relic on there. Very nice. That's a hot team. That's a hot, sexy team. Very nice. I mean, I think you're looking good. I um, I would get that Imperial Trooper team relic up while you're working on Executor, because now that you're getting close, now you're just farming. You're farming shards for your ships, right, to get them up. Um, while you're doing that, uh, gear up and star up that Imperial Trooper team. Veers, Stark, Gideon, Dark Trooper, and Piet. Get them going so you can get them ready for Executor. And that's just a straight-up awesome Rand Arena team to have. And by the way, where are your Omicrons? Let's look again. I, I should start looking at Omicrons more often. Um, I don't... Okay, first order type out is the only one I see. Is that the only one you've got? Qui-Gon. Okay, they're a nice Qui-Gon. Is nice work. Where are you bound? I, I just like this one third. It's just such an easy one. Okay, you guys. Okay, you have the the three Omicrons I'd recommend for a, for a free-to-play low level. Okay, very good. Very nice. Excellent work. Well done. Well done, Darth Rocky. Okay, now we're going to look at Eduardo. Because he mentioned it earlier. He got his number in late, but he mentioned it earlier, and his number just didn't take. So, let's see here. 931. I'm going to have to get some water here in a minute. Five eight six six nine four. Okay, Eduardo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see. You mentioned what you're gonna be doing. Going for SLKR and then Executor. That is a good combo. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Qui-Gon. Yep, saw it. I love those. Are the, those are great. I agree, Darth Rocky. Those are great Omicrons to have. Okay, first order. You get, you're get. you on your way. You got the first order type out Omicron. Good job. May I get Hux up? Hux is so good. I, I It's unfortunate that he's lagging behind your other characters so much because he's so good. He's so good, dude. He's so good. Okay, get him up there. Let's take a look at Han. There he is. Now let's look at the ships. Of course, this is always where it comes down. Darth Vader, Tie Silencer, Houndstooth. Oh, look at, wait, wait, wait. Where's Cad? Where's Cad? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so looks like you're on for your farming finalizer, sir. Very nice. You did this right. So, I have a I have several videos out there where when I was doing this SLKR farm free to play, I really missed out on ships. I cost myself somewhere around a month of time by lagging on ships and I didn't pay attention and you have just pounced on these and that's really awesome so good job on your ships way to go really nice work and it's not going to hold you up you'll get that finalizer activated about the time you're getting everybody relic 
Very well done. So then you're going to go for executor, right? So um, where's your TIE Fighters at seven stars? Um, look at our bounty hunters. Again, you are missing the Razor Crest. You're going to work on IG-200. Um, I got my smugglers up. My scoundrels. I, so you got to work on that on that uh, Beskar Mando because you're going to need him. Can I... Okay, there's Queel. There's IG... Where's IG-11? IG-11, three stars. Uh, Cara Dunes, four stars. Yeah, you got some work to do for your Beskar Mando. There's Bosk. Very nice. So yeah, I think... Um, Mostly for your first order, except for General Hux. There's General Hux. So I would say for you, and you've got Smother Hunt seven stars. Keep working on those General Hux stars. Keep gearing these guys up. While you're doing that, on the side, farm your stars. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is he looking at? Farm your stars for IG-88 needs it. Um... I think you need do you need Dengar? I don't think you need Dengar for executor. Uh, you're gonna need some for the Empire, right? So bee farming. Oh no, you're looking pretty good there. So bee farming for shards for executor, the stuff you need. Right now you need to work on that Beskar Mando journey. So go work on those shards and get that going while you're gearing up for your first order. Guys, I'm gonna go get a drink of water. So let me pop up here. Um, do I have a drink of water thing or do I have I gotta be right back so I'm gonna be right back it's gonna be like we're talking like one minute I'll be right back so hang in there with me and looks like next Eric if you want to meet a review I don't see your number dude I don't see your number so Eric DiGregorio you need to drop me your roster number because I don't see it and then we got Jeremy coming up after that or Jeremy's next and then Immortal Tyranny. I thought we did your roster, buddy. So, all right. So let me go get a drink of water. I will be right back. Hang in there, everybody. Go take go take your own bathroom or a water break, and go get it done right now. All right, we're back. It doesn't have any music with it, no. Okay. Let me pop up the bottle. So these these bottles, the bottom is like expanding so it doesn't stand up right. So I gotta pop up the bottom a little bit and then it'll stand up. Sort of. That ice melted. Okay, we're back, everybody. Um, I don't see that number. <clears throat> What's my highest accounts GP? Um, my my Star Wars Dead GP is like 3.5 million. I used to have my original account that I started the game with back in the day, back like month one, and that was that's probably around seven and a half million right now. But I I gave that account away. You need Dengar, okay? Then better work on Dengar. Thanks, Conja Club. With GG, with BB-8, it's very hard to win. Yes, you are correct, Jose. That's a great team in Grand Arena. Okay, well, Edward, I don't... Eric, I don't see your... I don't see it, so I can't really review your roster here, buddy. Okay, Jeremy. Three, five, six, one, eight, three, nine, eight, five. So what'd you say there? Been away from the game for ages, ever since the first GL. That's a couple years. Trying to recover by going for C and trying to get ships going in the background. Would love a review. Okay. Got both Revens. Nice Grievous team. Got CLS. Do you have Malik? Well, um, the very first thing you should do is get Darth Malak. So farm these characters up and get Darth Malak. He is a Grand Arena crusher, dude. 
So that's the very first thing you should do. Don't worry about Sith Eternal. To get Darth Malak on this roster. That's the very first thing you should work on. You have to you have to gear up these Zalvar's close. You have to gear up Mission and Karth and Candyman or Juhani, and I think you know, that'll do you. Go get Darth Malak, dude. You, your roster is is too good and too close to not have him on it. So that's my first piece. All right, then you're going for Sith Eternal, but let me look through the roster here a little bit. I don't see gas. So I'm gonna look at that before I look at Sith Eternal. So. Got seven star Shock T, you got six star 3PO. Uh, GK's ready, Padme's ready, Ahsoka's probably good enough. You're very close, if not ready. If you ran this Ewok roster, if you put a bunch of speed on Wicket and ran this Ewok roster, it might take you a bunch of tries, but you could probably get it done. Just FYI. You could probably 7-star, but it's going to take you a bunch of tries. You could probably 7-star 3PO. And that would get you to where you need for the first part of gas. B1's only five stars. Asajj, Magna Guard, B2, Droidica. <sighs> hmm, let me look at your let me look at your C farm here. Stark, Tarkin, Veers is only five stars. Royal Guard is seven. Krennic is seven. Piet's only five stars. Um Dooku is six stars. Marauder is six stars. Uh, Sidious is up there. Maul is fine. Darth Maul is fine. I I think you should do, I think you should do Malak, and Gas, before you do Sith Eternal Emperor. I really do. I think that's what you should be doing. Um, I just I think you've got a lot. And, and while you're doing that, ew, these guys are gross. Nah, your geos are disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay. Um, let, let, let me take a look here. <coughs> ah. I gotta stand up. Let me think about this. Let me think about it. Because I want to give you the right advice. I want to give you the right way to go with your roster. Because, you know, if you if you left the game a couple years ago, you were playing when, when Squad Arena was the most important thing. And you farmed for Squad Arena. Um, yeah. Jeremy, I, I think, so I think, number one, Malik. Get him done. Number two, gas. Get him done. You're close. You just need some shards for B2 Battle Droid. Then you need some gear levels on, on characters. Your seven star 3PO. Okay. Um, and then do Sith Eternal Emperor. And while you're getting while you're gearing up for those two and getting getting those events done, you can be farming the shards on the side for Sith Eternal Emperor. Because it's gonna take, again, here we are. It's gonna take you probably three plus months just to get the shards on Piet and that you need on um hang on where am I here to get these shards on Veers on Piet um on you had I'm missing something else now um on Dooku Marauder you know it's gonna take you like two or three months to get those anyway and you're all but you're so close on your on your other stuff, you just so get Baldroid to seven stars, get these guys geared up, get your three PO to seven stars, get them geared up, farm Geo Brood Alpha every day, please. Um, and yeah, farm Geo Brood Alpha every day, get your Geos geared up, 
So while you're working on the stars for Sith, so go farm those stars for Sith Eternal, okay? Go do that. For Piet, Veers, Marauder, and uh, who was the other one? Uh, I don't remember, another one of the other Sith. Right? Anyway, farm those stars. Oh, Dooku. Then, but while you're doing that, definitely gear up first for Malak, then do Gas, then do Sith Eternal Emperor. That's the order you should go in. And you should get your Bosk relic up in the meantime, by the way. That's what, you should, that's what you should do with this roster, Jeremy. That's what you should do. Okay, let's see here. I got time for a few more here. So, Immortal Tyranny. I thought I did yours. Did we say that already? I don't know. 946 518 851. Oh, that's a little up. Palindrome or something, is that what that's called? Hey, Jazz Boogaloo, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the like, buddy. You're my hero. Bimgus Freestad. Hey, Dad, I'm going for C, getting pretty close. Going for Executor after getting Starkiller. Blah, 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 blah. I love it. That's... Oh, you put your code in early. I'm getting to it, buddy. I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm going in order. Let me see if I've got it. I've got your code there, Bimgus, but... It's kind of down the line a little bit. Sorry. I've got, I've got to go in order here for people that got their number in earliest. That's the only fair way to do it, unfortunately. Um, so I'm doing Immortal Tyranny here. 946518. Okay, I'm not unfortunate. So, that's that's my account. What? What's happening? Wrong buttons all over the place. Okay. Immortal Tyranny, 946 518 851. You're Immortal Tyranny, you're giving me my account. That's my that's my account. What are you doing, dude? That's me. <laughs> I, I <laughs> <laughs> My account is awesome. I'll do. I'll, I'll have that out this week. I, I get an account update. All right, let's see here. How'd you get all those watch shards? Who me? I don't know. You get them from being in a good guild. Yeah. Dusk Cannon. One three three. Uh, eight eight six. One three three. Five seven one. Okay. What's the goal here, Dusk Cannon? Did you tell me what your goal is? I don't have a goal for Dusk Cannon. So if you're still on, let me know what your goal is. Hey, Taco Shell, what's up? You thought I had to review my own account without noticing? <laughs> Anytime, Jeremy. <laughs> nice. Cute, immortal. Yeah, very nice. Nice uh, nice troll there. I'm too smart for trolls. Nooch too smart. Where's my Nooch too smart button? I don't think I have that. Nooch too high ground! It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! I will not fall for your trolls. Okay. Dust Cannon. Let's see what's going on. He's got gas. Very nice gas. Like all relic gas. That's it. I mean, obviously you went straight for gas in this. You got a nice Grievous team. You got Bosk relic up. Uh, you're looking good for CLS. You got Chupio. You have Chupio. Do you have Chupio? Kind No. Killing me, Smalls. Dust Cannon. Max out Chupio. That's my number one piece of advice for this roster. Okay. Now, Padme, General Kenobi, 3PO, Emphis Nest, I love that Emphis Nest, that's a really good solo team for Grand Arena, uh, Darth Revan, working on that, I think you're going to be in a Malik spot too, wow, HK Relic and, wow, that would have gotten you Darth Revan I guess. You should go for Malik. Get him done. Didn't have him, right? Yeah. Go get Malik unlocked. So uh, go get Chupio. Just start farming him and get Malik unlocked. You need a GL on this roster. 3.3 million. You've already got Gash. You've already got Jedi Revan. You've got Darth Revan. You're gonna go get Malik. You're gonna get. Um, you're gonna get Chupio. You need a Galactic Legend on this roster. So who should you be going for? 
Let's take a look. Start here? No. Not looking strong. General Skywalker. General Kenobi. Shakti. Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't like Jedi Master Kenobi or Lord Vader a lot here just because of you're behind a lot of this stuff. Resistance isn't great. <sighs> hmm. Why didn't that work? Gosh, buddy. Um, well, your quickest path. Got Hoda. Well, let me look at this. Let's look at this first. Dusk Cannon. Just got Darth Revan and finishing Malak. Hey Rex, how you doing? Rex Master Assassin. Still doing roster reviews. I'm gonna do these more often. I'm gonna do these more often. Hello, Para, how are you? Um Since you haven't really farmed toward any Galactic Legends, you're you're you you're kinda working on Jedi Master Luke a little bit, but there's no Wampa. Uh, let me go back to the characters, sorry. Um, there's Rolo down there. Uh, do you have Captain Han Solo somewhere? No. Uh, your fastest path to Galactic Legend is going to be Sith Eternal Emperor. You're not in a horrible shape for Jedi Master Luke. Not in great shape either. Um, but that's what I would say. I would say uh, Sith Eternal Emperor is your fastest path, and while you're doing that, get work, go Sith Eternal Emperor, then Executor. Work on those two. You'd have to go get... Um, yeah, I, I still can't do it. Can I get one if you got time? Rex, I'm, I'm, you're probably at the end of the line at this point, unfortunately. And guys, I'm, 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 I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably got about 15 minutes left to me. Sorry, guys, you're just popping on. That's catch me in the next one. But I'm gonna start doing these. I'm gonna try to do them a couple times a week here. Um, yeah, I I think Sith Eternal will be your fastest path. You need to, you need a Galactic Legend on this roster to round it out. It'll look with with Chupio it'll, with Chupio and Malik, and you got Emphis Nest. A Galactic Legend is gonna put you in really great shape for Grand Arena, better shape than my free to play account. So I love this account. Those are the things I recommend. Um, get Darth Malik, finish off Chupio. And then go get Sith Eternal Emperor, and that'll be your Galactic Legend that you can start pushing this roster with. If you want to farm one that's going to be a little bit longer, you could probably go after Kylo. You could do maybe Jedi Master Kenobi. Um, yeah, those are my recommendations, so hopefully it helps out. Hopefully it helps you out, Dust Cannon. Okay, Jeremy, we did. Charlie Neef. We're going to do three more. Charlie's and then two more. Two nights, seven, three, five, eight, eight, six, four. Do I have the, um... Hmm. Again, we'll pop it on here. We got, uh, we got, we got enough people watching. We got 30 likes, but make sure to like and subscribe, everybody, please. Get on there. Go throw some comments out there. Go watch. A lot of people have questions on mods. Go look at my mods 101 video. I've got I've got a few mods videos out there. I published one recently. Go check out that mods video. It'll really help you with your mods. Okay. So we're on Charlie Neef. You still out there, Charlie? Anytime, Dusk. Charlie's got a nice little Darth Revan. Darth Malik team. Looking good. Looking good. 
Hey Jackson, how you doing, buddy? Okay. So, Charlie, did you Charlie finish finish Shock T clones, build Padme team, Relic Basil of Fallen, and Joe Lee, then go straight for Jedi Master Kenobi. You're not very close, but the journey builds core. Let's look. Got you got the whole older public thing done. The Kotor thing is done. I tend to think that's that, well. You're gonna have to get gas, so you're gonna have to get gas. No, you don't. No, no, that's for Lord Vader. Yeah, you're not in great shape for gas at all. Um, so you want to go for Jedi Master Kenobi, huh? So you want to do Jedi Master Kenobi? There's no Isla Secura. You got her three stars. You need to work on that. Uh, I think you know what you need to work on. Padme's at once. You're going to relic up Padme. I like that. Got the Qui-Gon Omicron. Good job. General Kenobi needs... You need to gear on relic General Kenobi. He's just too important. In general, he's too important. Mace Windu there. Clone Sergeant. Cody needs some stars. So yeah, you got some work to do there. Um... Bo-Katan, yeah, you get, you definitely have work. Let me look. Let me look and see if I can figure out something else for you to do in the mean. Like, what can you do in the meantime, while you're working on stars for Jedi Master Kenobi? What can you do with this roster? And let me let me let me take a look. Hmm. Vader's relic. There's Chupio, so I bet you got nice, decent Rebels. Bosk is Relic, that's good. Um, are you close to anything else? That's the question. No. No. The cool thing about Janet Revan and Darth Revan and Malak is they give you a really good early Grand Arena roster. The challenging thing is you, you're taking no steps toward any other journeys, really. Yeah, at this point, based on the rest, I'd say if you want to go for Jedi Master Kenobi, work on Jedi Master Kenobi. I would finish off your, um, as far as relics, I would definitely finish off your CLS team here. Um, do you have any Ewoks? Yeah, no Ewoks. You won't be able to get the perfect CLS team with 3PO, but you get a pretty darn good one if you relic off. Um, where am I here? If you relic, like... Um, R2, Chewbacca, Han Solo, and Chupio. That should be a pretty good substitute um, for that. But yeah, just go for Jedi Master. You got a lot of farming left for Jedi Master Kenobi, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, get after it. Just start working on it. Relic up this, this CLS team and get some get some Zetas. I think you need more Zetas here. You're missing a lot of Zetas. It looks like to me. You got two on Vader. You got all the the. Well, you don't have all three of Revenge. You need to get that on there. Uh, boy, you got your you've got your clone Zetas on. So when you get shocked, you said you work on yeah. When you get shocked, T in charge of that team. That's gonna be a pretty good team in Grand Arena. Very nice. Yeah, you got to work for Jedi Master Kenobi, but just get after it. it's just gonna take you some time. So, all right. Four man with CLS. Okay, okay, go for it, man. Go for it. All right, who we got next? Uh, the night come back next time we'll review your other account. Eric, there's your number. Alright. Eric, and then one more, and then we'll head out for the day. Guys, I'm going to try and jump on at least once a week, hopefully a couple times a week to do these. I know everybody loves them. Everybody really enjoys the roster reviews, so, yeah, we'll be out here. This is Eric DiGregorio, 175 Ice so what was the story you told it earlier? 
Uh, go for executor. If you do that, level up all bounty hunters for the ships. You'd have eight relic bounty hunters, which you don't want. Um, hang on here. Let's see. Yeah. Keep not getting the events. What's the event called? It's called, uh, Discarded Doctrine. All right, I got it. I got it. Okay, so you need... Oh, shoot. I messed up. Get back in there, Eric. Hank. Sorry about that. 295 858 175 Okay, so Executor. Piet, Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Dengar, IG-88, Bosk, That's it. Why do you need eight bounty hunters? I don't understand why you need eight bounty hunters. Bosk, Boba Fett. You don't have Dengar activated yet. IG-88. You need to get Beskar Mando. See, if you're going to be developing your bounty hunters... Eric, if you're going to be developing bounty hunters and going for it, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good strategy. They're a great team. Then you need to get Zam. Go in the guild shop, get Zam activated, and get her Omicron for Grand Arena. It's really, really important. It makes that bounty hunter team just almost unstoppable in Grand Arena. So you need to do that if you're going to be going for bounty hunters and the executor. Let's take a look at your empire and how you're doing over there. Um, Pietney, so you need, you've got a lot of work ahead of you for executor. I mean, a lot of work. So let me take a look at your roster, because it sounds like you're kind of like interested in that, but you're 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 wanting to see where you might divert. So let's talk about let's talk about where you might go with this roster instead. Cause you'd have grief and Cad Bane and Django. Well, I mean, those aren't bad guys to have. You know, grief and Cad Bane. Why would you have Cad Bane? But but I just I don't think the I don't think the bounty hunters hurt your roster that much. If you can build a bounty hunter team, your primary team with Bosk, if you get Zam in there for Grand Arena, that's like almost unstoppable. Then you build a Mando team as your secondary bounty hunter team, or a Beskar Mando. And you know that's not so bad either. So you know especially for at at your two million, this is a really good roster for a two million account, Eric. A really good roster for two million, really good. So let me look through here a little bit. I mean, you, you've got some heavy lifting for anything you're going to be doing next. Whatever you're doing next is going to require a significant amount of work from you. There's no getting around it. Uh, yeah, you've only got six-star General Kenobi, five-star Anakin. Anakin's not needed for gas, but um, I don't see Shakti anywhere. So gas is going to be some, some work for you. Dooku's at five stars. You don't have the droids. You know, if we look at your Sith Empire, you're not ready there. And, and this, I'm not insulting your roster, by the way. I love your roster. I love the fact that you're right at two million. You've got, you've got Spring Leader Kylo Ren. That's really awesome. you got Bosk Relic. You need to Relic up Vader, so get him done. Looks like you're working on him and almost done. I don't think Executor is a bad next step. I don't. I don't. I love the SLKR Rush. I don't think you'd be... I think your idea of doing executor next uh, is not a bad idea. It's a really good idea. So do that executor next. Work toward it. Get your best Garmando. Build up two really good uh, bounty hunter teams. Go get Zam Wessel and get her Omicron on her. You need to have... You got first order type pilot Omicron. That's good. 
So get Sam Wessel, work on those bounty hunters, work toward Executor, get, get your Imperial Trooper team. That's what you need, dude. That's what you need. So... Yep. Get your bounty hunters, work on them. Just get them done. Go get Zam in the uh, guild shop and get her Omicron on her, okay? For that bout, for that boss bounty hunter team. Your second bounty hunter team would be Mando. You could probably use it on offense. You'll be working toward, you're gonna be working toward uh, Bam, uh, Beskar Mando. In the meantime, you're gonna have to go get, yeah, you're gonna have to go get, um, doing it again. Mando's ship. Why can I never get it? Why can I never get it? I would go get it. I would go get Executor. I think it's worth it for you. I like where your bounty hunters are. And if you can, if you can go into Grand Arena, you put you could put Executor on top on ships. You put Kylo on bottom. People are not gonna be able to get through you. You're gonna have people just clearing one territory and then walking away. So that's why I think it'd be really good for you to do that. I think it's a really good idea. It'll take you some time, but once you do it. You're in really, really good shape. So I like that idea. I like that. I think you're. I think you're on the right path, Eric. I really like it. Okay, one more roster to review here. Let's see here. Akimbo Yojimbo. Okay. Reaching all the way over to Africa, it looks like. Correct me if I'm wrong, Akimbo. Two, three, six, seven, six, three, six, six, six. Ooh. Ugh. Mm -hmm. uh, Five-year-old account going for Lord Vader. Can't decide which deal to do for next or Star Killer. So you're going for Lord Vader. Let's look at this thing. Hell, steel, and potency does not apply to care. It's a dark side, dude. You have a dark side Omicron on this team. It doesn't work. I I would put it on a different team first of all. I guess maybe that's just in squad arena. Razor Crest, thank you, Charlie. Yeah, Terra Beast, I'll get you in here, but next time just jump on faster. And you know, whoever gets the gets on here first, it, it's just I gotta go in order. It's unfair to people that get their requests in first, so I'll go in order every time. So just jump in there first next time you see a roster review. So that's how I have to work it. Um, so Kimbo has C and Jenna Master Kenobi going for Lord Vader. What was it? Five-year-old kind of going for Lord Vader can't decide which GL to go for. Well, you said you're going for Lord Vader. You have Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Why aren't you going for Jedi Master Luke? Why aren't you going for Jedi Master Luke? Why is it called the journey's end? That's stupid. Okay. So, for Jedi Master Luke, I really think you're closer to Jedi Master Luke. Although you got, you've already got Sky Gas at Relic 8, which isn't going to hurt you. Jedi Master Luke. Let's go, let's take a look at Ray first. Jedi Training Ray. You got her right there. You just need to get her Relic. Let's go to our Rebels. You've got Rolo and Captain Han Solo, CLS. You, I mean, you already got Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca, R2. Yeah, get him relicked up. Chupio, he's there. Old Ben is there. Where's Mod Mothma? Okay, you'd have to you have to star up Mon Mothma. You got her Yoda, obviously, because you have right. Not a rebel. Lando, you gotta have Lando at seven stars, don't you? Lando, Lando, here he is, Relic Four. Because you have to have Jedi Knight Luke. Wedge, 
Aw, oh, man. You, you gotta go for Jedi Knight Luke. You gotta go for Jedi Master Luke. The only thing you're missing is Mon Mothma. Hermit? Yeah! Rebel Y-Wing's done? Dude, don't go for Lord Vader. Go for Jedi Master Luke! Akimbo, go for Jedi Master Luke. That is your that is your money play here. Go for Jedi Master Luke. Just finish off Mon, Muth, Mon Mothma and get Jedi Master Luke. Nuke 75, I did not do a review on your account. Um, you might have got in there a little late with the number, so jump onto the next one and I'll get it. Um, but yeah, I, Akimbo, this your account has Jedi Master Luke written all over it. That should be your goal here. Do do your Jedi Master Luke drive. I get that you're talking about Lord Vader, but honestly, he's he's not great without Maul. And your Bad Batch aren't even like start up. I I just see this as a, I just see Jedi Master Luke being low hanging fruit for you. Let me look up Jedi. Let me look up Lord Vader's event here. I feel like you're on the cusp of maybe even two Lord Vaders here. Okay, so... Pad made a Relic 8, done. Gassed Relic 8, done. Tuscan Raider, not there, okay. Hunter, Record, Tech, we looked at those, you're working on those. Echo? And you got Echo. Just need to get him relic up. He's Echo. He's seven. Embo to relic. Embo, Echo. Both Echoes. So that's your bad batch. Okay. Arc Trooper working. You got him at eight. Okay. Grandma Tarkin, Nuke Gunnery. Uh, okay. So let me look at your Empire. Grandma Tarkin. Such a dumb requirement for this. Okay. Good with him. Um. Separatist, Nuke Gun Rate is 7. By the way, I predicted that at the very beginning before it even came out. Okay, Nuke Gun Rate is 7. Tuscan Raider. Okay. By the way, hang on. Isn't that a Tuscan Omicron? Like, it helps Tuscans? 3v3. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um... Count Dooku. Okay, buddy. You're within spitting distance of two galactic legends here. Two. 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 Two galactic legends and one. This is the most... This is exciting. This is exciting. Get those Bad Batch farmed. Get these guys relicked up. And go get Mon Mothma farmed and get Jedi Master Luke. Do, do both of them. Do both. So work on Lord Vader and work on Jedi Master Luke. Get them both and you'll have them. You should have them both within a few months. I really think you should do both Lord Vader and Jedi Master Luke on this account and you'll be good to go. You're, you're, you're right there within range of both of them. So yeah, man, that's exciting. This is an exciting account and exciting to see that. So oh, I didn't look at Embo, did I? Let's see here. No, you got Embo right there. Yeah. You're the range of both of those guys, dude. So go get both of them. Get get Lord Vader and get Jedi Master Luke. This is a great account. Love it. I love it. Okay, everybody. We're going to wrap up the stream with that. Thanks for joining. If I missed your roster review, I apologize. I'm going to try to jump on at least once a week and hopefully twice a week to do roster reviews. There's so many of you guys out there that want roster reviews. Please make sure before you hop off that you do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, go check out some other videos. I got I got videos out there on mods. I got videos out there. I did my whole Jedi. Uh, Je I did my whole SLKR rush from beginning. I've got the, all that that series out there. Um, I've got a new Sith Eternal account I'm working. That's right. You're looking at it right now. Uh, yeah, guys. I'm gonna publish an 18 month update on my my SLKR account. I'm gonna pu publish an update on this this account for Sith Eternal Emperor Rush account this week. Those will be out there. So enjoy the channel. Have fun. Join me next time 
for uh, for more Ross reviews. I'll be back hopefully midweek this week. Guys, I hope you have a great day out there. Enjoy yourself. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good.